Hello guys, today we're going to hack Windows 7 64-bit Service Pack 1. For this purpose I got here a Kali Linux 2 64-bit uh, virtual machine, which is the attacker. And Windows 7 64-bit Service Pack 1 virtual machine, which is the victim machine. We're going to exploit Windows 7 by using the Social Engineering Toolkit, which was developed by my boss, Dave Kennedy, who founded the company I'm currently working. By the way, cheers, man. I hope to see you soon. The Social Engineering Toolkit is found in the Exploitation folder under all our labs. If we launch it, it will open up a shell. In the program menu, we're going to choose number one, social engineering attacks. Then we select number four, create a payload and a listener. At this point, we're going to choose number five, interpreter 64 bit. We'll be asked. For the IP address of the listener, which is the IP of the Kali Linux machine. Then we need a port here I'm going to use the default one. LCT will create now a payload file which we'll have to send to our victim. I have already created the file and I saved it on the victim machine, but I'm repeating the process for you so you can see what it looks like. At this point, we can launch the exploit by entering yes, which will open automatically Metasploit. Our exploit will be automatically started. I'm already running the payload on a victim machine. Oops, looks something went wrong for some reason, so I'm going to relaunch the exploit. You'll see here the message interpreter session 1 open, but the session wasn't actually open and Metasploit gets stuck, so this throws me off a little bit here. I'm going to check if uh, any old sessions are open with the sessions command. At this point, we can open up the first one by launching sessions i1. And we're in the interpreter. Success. Now we can do pretty much what we want on the victim machine. First thing I'm going to do is creating a screenshot of the desktop, which was saved to an image file. Now we can also sniff keystrokes on a victim machine, and I start in the keylogger. Now I'm going to type some random stuff in Notepad on the victim machine to see if our keylogger picks up on our keystrokes. I'm typing a bunch of gibberish now, like you see just to show you how the keylogger works. A bunch of bull crap in the end. I don't know what to type. I mean, just to show you the way the keylogger records each keystrokes on the victim machine. Let's now analyze the logged keystrokes on Kali Linux. So all the text I typed in in Windows machine has been recorded by our keylogger in Kali. Let's try now and dump the hashes containing usernames and passwords. Hmm, looks like we got a problem here. I did some researches and this is because my user account, though being an administrator, isn't the default administrator account, the one you 
see uh, named anti Windows Authority. Privilege escalation with guest system doesn't work at all with Windows 7. And I found this after some investigation. I could use another exploit to get this result, but I don't have time for that now. Now, if we get the security identifier for this account, we'll see that the last part called registered ID or IRA ID is 1000. So it was created after Windows installation. Let's now have a look at the screenshot I taken earlier. You'll see it's the Windows 7 desktop. We can also have information on the current desktop environment on the Vitim machine with get desktop command. Oh, oops, there was an error. Okay. We can also have system information on the victim machine with the sysinfo command. Now I opened up a shell and we can scare our victim off by creating a text file with notepad with a random text inside and we'll call it hacked.txt. This is the Windows command necessary to create the file. I'm going to save it on the desktop of the victim machine. Now, if we open up this file that I'm creating just now on the victim machine, we find the same random text we had inserted before. All right, so this is all I have to show you for today. See you in the next video, and have a good day, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.